thank you. Um, I don't actually have any slides. I'm just going to speak today. And, and as I was introduced, um, I'm an entrepreneur. I live in Ithaca, New York. And I actually want to talk today about the entrepreneurial community we have there. And I would kind of jokingly call it our underground entrepreneurial community. Um, give you a little statistics. Uh, Ithaca is a town of about 35,000 permanent residents. There's about another 30,000 uh, fluctuating with the two colleges there. And in that community, we have, I keep an informal list of 48 startups. So by the numbers, that's a, I think that's a pretty good number. Um, so my talk today is going to include a lot of com comments about coffee. And I, I love the fact that uh, the breaks are called conversations with coffee, because that, that really hits at the heart of what we're doing here as well. So let me talk by starting with a story about uh, actually John Grisham. So John Grisham, before he was a writer, he was a lawyer. And as he aspired to be a, a writer, he would meet up at these coffee shops with other aspiring writers, guys writing all kinds of different things. And they would share, and they would comment, and they would look at each other's ideas. And they weren't stealing these ideas. They were working together to make them better. And that concept of, hey, none of us are professional writers. We, we all want to be better. We all want to share ideas. Uh, was really reflected in what we do up in Ithaca. So let me talk about the community uh, as it pertains to coffee and entrepreneurship. And this is actually one of the first times I've ever talked about it in public. So periodically, we have these unannounced, un well, not unannounced, not formally announced, uh, little coffee get-togethers over breakfast. And we bring in all the entrepreneurs. And specifically, you've got to be part of this entrepreneurial community to get the invite. And the people who get the invite are active entrepreneurs who are following uh, what I consider four unwritten rules. And I want to talk about what those rules are. And the first of those rules of participation are honesty. So everybody there is open and honest about what they're, talking, what they're doing, what their real problems are. It's not a boast session. It's not, hey, here's how great everything's going. Here's the real problems. And oftentimes with entrepreneurs, their life and their business are very much intertwined. And so we're talking about all sorts of things. So what comes out of that, the second unwritten rule is discretion. If I'm going to be honest about my business and the, uh, the life that I'm leading, I also need, want the people to, at the table to know that they're not going to go out and tell this to everybody else. So honesty follows in with discretion. Uh, really, the third one here is that we're all in this together. So it's a collaboration building sort of approach to things. So we're not, once again, we're not here to compete and talk about why well, my business is better than yours for this reason, or I'm a better entrepreneur or a better business person. We're, we're not competing, so let's, let's collaborate. And the fourth, and I think this is probably one of the ones that I think is the most important, is that it's a give and take. So if I'm, if I'm asking for advice from somebody, then I also need to be responsible for giving it back, or lending a hand, or making a connection, or getting into the real nuts and bolts. It needs to be a back and forth collaboration. So those are our four unwritten rules, honesty, dis discretion, um, what, that we're all in this together, and that it's a give and take. And here's how the give and take works. Let me talk a little bit about the people in the community. Everyone in the community has something that they're good at, and they, need to, they own that. So individually, not a lot of us have a, a, a depth of experience, but cumulatively, we've got tons of it. So there's somebody in the community who's an expert at grants. And, and as a result of us tapping his knowledge, we've raised millions, if not tens of million dollars in, in federal grants. Somebody in the community who I would say is an expert at venture capital. And because of that, the community has been able to raise millions in venture capital. We've got experts in sales. We've got experts in FDA approval. We've got people who really understand how to do the, the uh, licensing contracts. And so individually, we don't have a depth of experience. But cumulatively, we do when we freely ship, give and take on this. And this, when, when I talk about the detail, the level of detail we get into is not, hey, do you think I should take these guys out, to, out for, for drinks? It's which sake bar in Tokyo am I taking them to? Or not should I give my employees options? It's exactly how many shares do I give an engineer with two years of experience, and what have you seen, and how does that work? And how much percentage of a, the, the business are you going to give to your investors or potentially a licensee? So real heavily detail, which needs to be kind of kept, kept quiet. So the next thing about the way our community acts is we, keep, we do keep it informal. Um, and what that means is it can happen in this environment of the 
the periodic breakfasts, but it also can interact with um, how we meet up with each other outside of there. So one of the things that you will find with a lot of the ethic entrepreneurs is we all have really good coffee machines in our offices. Uh, we went out and spent a few hundred dollars on the one in my office, and I like that because it's a draw. People come to my, my office and have a coffee. Sometimes they're saying, hey, Brad, what can I do to help you? Or, hey, Brad, I've got this problem. And the same is true among the other entrepreneurs in the community. They're, they're constantly doing this give and take. And sometimes it's over coffee. Sometimes it's over beers. Sometimes it's while we're water skiing. But it's the, the community of this informal give and take where whatever we're doing, we know that if we're in this community, um, we're safe. So with that, I'd actually like to extend an invitation. We're always looking for active entrepreneurs. We'd love to expand our, our depth of knowledge in this community. And so the extent that there are aspiring or active entrepreneurs, we, I'd love to connect with you guys. So thank you very much.